Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just got out of prayer and uh, I just felt led to start recording. The Lord is looking for people who will seek him diligently. There's so much chaos going on in the world right now. And uh, the only place of peace is that, that secret place. The Bible says that he that dwell in the secret place shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It's that only place where we will find that peace, that place of prayer, that place of crying out to God from the depths of our heart. But sadly, a lot of God's children ain't doing this. We're not crying out to God from the depths of our heart. We're not becoming broken before the Lord because we're too focused on the worldliness. We're too focused on all of the other things of the world, you know, all of the other things that got our attention. And God is looking for some children to cry out to him that will remain broken before him. That that is willing to to cut off the distractions and just 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 get on their knees and say, Lord, here am I, oh God. Here am I. Speak to me, Lord. Speak to my heart. Speak to my mind, Father. Sometimes, you know, God will wake you up in the middle of the night. He'll wake you up in the middle of the night. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Yes, he will. He'll wake you up in the middle of the night. Don't you know that's God that wakes us up in the middle of the night because he want to spend time with us. He want us to pray to him. He want us to hear from him. He want us to reach out to him, to seek him. Hallelujah. It's been many times where I get up in the middle of the night. It's been times where I've missed what God wanted to tell me. Hallelujah, because I get up just to go to the bathroom, then go lay back down. Or get up in the middle of the night, go get something to drink, then come lay back down. Missed what God wanted to tell me. And I had to learn that if I'm waking up in the middle of the night, in the wee hours of the night, it's because God want to talk to me. And I'm telling you, don't miss that moment. Don't miss that moment where you are able to hear the voice of the Lord so clearly. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the power of God all in this room right now, y'all. I can't even. I have no words to express how I feel right now. This is the place of comfort. Hallelujah. The place where God embraces his children. That place of prayer. But if we are always distracted, we will never be able to feel it. Hallelujah. You want a breakthrough? Get in prayer. Hallelujah. You want a peace of mind? Get in prayer. Hallelujah. You want to draw closer to the Lord? Get in prayer. Spend time with the Lord in prayer. Get lost in prayer. Get lost in worship. Hallelujah. Sometimes it ain't even just about doing the works of the Lord all the time. Sometimes we just got to get alone with God. Separate ourselves in an isolated place and get alone with God. Spend time with the Lord. Fellowship with the Lord. Hallelujah. Have communion with Him. He loves that. He want to have this type of fellowship with His children. Hallelujah. But if you're always in that television... Always on your phone, always on social media, always out and about. You will never, ever be able to spend time with God. And you will miss everything he has for you, everything he want to tell you. Hallelujah. He said in the book of Jeremiah, search me. If you search me with, with all of your heart, you will find me. And I will tell you great, great mysteries that you have not known. I will tell you things. That you know nothing about. God is a good God. Hallelujah. 
God is a good God. And ever since he separated me from Facebook, I've been able to spend more time with him, especially in prayer. I'm talking about that real. My eyes is red right now. Man. I've been crying. Oh, I've been weeping. And I really needed this, for real. I needed God to touch me. I needed God to strengthen me. Hallelujah. And when you come to the edge of your strength, you just got to cry out to the Lord Jesus. Because his strength is made perfect in our weakness. Hallelujah. But my friend, if you're so distracted and you always caught up with, with the affairs of this life, my friend, you will miss God. You will miss God. You will miss what it is that he has to say. And you will miss what it is that he's trying to do. God is a good God. And he's still within our reach. Hallelujah. If you messed up, made mistakes, he's still within your reach. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is still at hand. That means it's still within your reach. God just saying, reach out to me. Reach out to me. You, you're too busy doing other things. But when you're going to make time for me, God saying, reach out to me. Hallelujah. The prophet said, you better seek the Lord now while he may be found. You better seek him now while he may be found. After a while, you won't be able to find him. After a while, you're going to look for him. You're going to search for him. And you ain't going to be able to find him. You better seek the Lord now while he may be found. While he's still within your reach. Because <laughs> after a while, he ain't going to be within your reach anymore. <laughs> you too caught up in the things of the world. You left your first love. You better seek the Lord now while he may be found. You better seek the Lord now while he may be found.